Hey everyone, <clears throat> it is Thursday the 28th of February, my payday, so I've done the rounds around town, around the charity shops, slim pickings this time, but I did receive a parcel from a friend and fellow lamp collector of mine, with a few bits in, so I can show you those, <clears throat> well, I say slim pickings, it's not bad picking because even if it was a bit slim anyway these I bought brand new it's a brand new Hot Wheels 1988 Honda C CRX had a bit of a stutter there didn't I and a nice Chevy Nova not sure about the um, colour on it but anyway from the community shop I got some more tapes <coughs> I got this one uh, a ton of hits. The Hit Factory Volume 4. 80 non stop hits from The Hit Factory. Uh, one artist I recognise is Cliff Richard. And I. Th oh, David Bowie is on here as well. Cool. I just thought that one looked interesting, so I grabbed that one. And I've got another one of these. I've got Now 19. Pretty certain I don't have that one. I'm hoping I don't have that one. I also got a spool of um, DVD-Rs. Because um, I ran out of DVD-Rs. And I don't use them often, if at all. Same as my blank CDs. But um, I have this habit of losing the um, installation discs I have for Windows <laughs> so I have to keep making new copies so um, <clears throat> that spool that could actually hide up under here to be honest I'll just take the tape out of the way there we go um, <clears throat> so I've got those from the each charity shop so the tapes from the community shop um, actually those DVD R's they were on two separate spindles, but one was £1.50 and one was £2.50 because they weren't full. So I still have two separate spindles. Actually, the other one that I merged with this big one was near enough full. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I just made one spindle out of the two. It just saved having two half empty spindles. Anyway, I also picked up because I'm such a nerd. <laughs> a 40 in 1 digital logic kit 40 different wiring experiences experiences experiments uh, 4 times AA batteries £2.50 age from 8 years at 35 I guess I'm from 8 years <laughs> um, so I like that it's got a like a card overlay. £2.50 and I got this from Break Charity Shop. Almost bought one item in every charity shop that I went in. Almost. There's at least one charity shop that I didn't buy anything from. And I've just realised there was actually two that I didn't go into so I'm going to do those tomorrow. Um, and the last thing from charity shops I just thought this was actually interesting. It's a neon sign kit. Um, apparently there's a board. You get two meters of wire, which apparently glows like neon. Um, a power supply and all the pegs to support the wire. So, again, this was two pounds from Sue Ryder. You get a sign board. 50 by 22 centimeters, 25 board pegs, two times plastic feet, power bank. Oh, the power bank is battery operated. Blue light up wire, 2.1 meters, and the instruction manual. So I'm presuming I can just bend the wire into whatever word I want it to say. But I actually thought. 
I don't think I'll use it in videos on this channel because it's not like I do videos where I'm sitting here in the chair that often but I do reviews here for the Lego channel right on this desk so I thought something like this with perhaps the word Lego written on it in the background might actually look nice so I haven't actually had a look at that we'll have a look at this one in a minute we'll get the electric kit out as well and we'll have a look at that right so a friend of mine who also collects barricade lights he has sent me this a pair of green lenses for a doorman traffic light I just need the traffic light to put them on um, I actually don't have a spare one that I can swap the lenses over on um, unfortunately so I'm going to have to keep my eyes open for another traffic light so I got those he also put in the box if I can get it <coughs> a stand for my stop sign he bought a lamp thing from another e and collector Betty Swallocks but he didn't want the sign and everything with it he just wanted the lamp off the sign so um when he gets time he'll post the sign to me as well and he posted the base which actually fits my stop sign totally different signs but it seems like these bases will fit both and I'm presuming this hole through the bottom is to put a bolt or something through or a peg to hold it in place because I've noticed the bottom of my sign actually has a hole that lines up with this so I'm presuming some sort of peg or something goes in there this is for the London Underground, this stand. So I actually have no idea how this fixes to the side of the track. Copyright 1997, MCE Uniclamp. So it's got this on there. This, If I loosen this off, you can drop a foot down like that. So I'm guessing that maybe this clamps to something at the side of the track so it just boop, like that there's also these and there's also two more clips that came with it. I don't know what they're for either but, uh, I do like that there's a fair bit of weight to that as well um, and he also sent me something totally not lamp related but three PlayStation 1 games he sent me Street Fighter Plus some fighting games. I actually don't have any fighting games. Or I didn't have any fighting games till I got these. Uh, what's this one? Kensai Sacred Fist. Konami. And the other one's a Capcom game. What's this one then? Oh, an Amco. And this one is Tekken. So... If you're watching my videos, thank you very much. I'm not going to give you a name out on video because I don't know if you'd want me to do that. Um, also, I can't order it yet, but I'm going to be ordering it after midnight when it's the 1st. Because it's available from 1st of March, so I presume I can do it from midnight. Is a very large Lego set. Um, I'm just going to say, it's big, it's a car. It's expensive, but I'm going to be ordering it. <laughs> um, and I'll show you that when it arrives. But today, I decided to go out and get this one. Lego Speed Champions Dodge Challenger SRT Demon and the 1970 Dodge Charger RT. Because uh, I really do like these um, Speed Champions kits, so guess what I'm going to be doing in a short while. <laughs> right, let's um, make a bit of room. Let's put that tape back there, actually. So I will need that because I've actually got two parcels I need to post off. That's the bike cam. Um, I just want to open this up and just have a look, see what it's like. Because I haven't got any batteries, so I'm going to have to light it all up in another video. I'll have to see if I can get some batteries tomorrow. Well, I found a piece of blue wire poking at the end here. It's not actually as thick as I thought it would be. I thought it would be thicker than that. Okay. So the signboard is just cardboard. 
was the instructions. Oh, it's got batteries in it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so it's got three different things on it. There's all the feet and the pegs. Um, don't doesn't look like all the pegs are going to be there. But I might have other plans for it, so I'll just get rid of that over there for now. So there's the wire, and there's the power supply, which actually has batteries in it. You can see it lights up blue. For some reason, there's a wine coming from this. I'm going to have a fast flash. <laughs> Yes, um, I'd love to know how this works. But uh, that's actually pretty cool. I don't know why I threw the box over there, because now I've got nothing to put this lock in. <laughs> how your circuit works. Oh, okay. <laughs> it actually explains it, does it? E-L wire. Oh, I see, yeah. Oh, the transformer is probably... Actually, it could be the inductor. That's going to be what it's um, causing that whine. An inverter in there. Yeah, we've got the wine, what the wine sound is. I could decorate something with that. I don't actually have to make a sign with it. I could just tape it around something. But I think the uh, the high pitched wine that comes from that when that's on would drive me bonkers. Right. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this kit. I have no idea what's in the kit because I haven't opened it. So, we're laying right on the top in its bag. There's an instruction manual and a ton of wire. Ah, so there's no loose electronic components, it's all on here. That, for some reason, won't come out of the box. There we go. I don't know if it's supposed to come out of the box, but. So that's it, that's what we've got on there, we've got 6 volt power supply total, we've got a very small LED display, pot there, we've got like a Morse code button switch, microphone, CDS cell, transistors, no. Ooh, pardon me, resistors, couple of ICs, doesn't actually say what they are, it's just got integrated circuit written there. Uh, it looks like this one's got two ICs in one, because there's one circuit there and one up there. And CLK, so that might... is that two triple five timers and one maybe? I don't know, I'll have to read the instruction book. Cut the LEDs, cut of electrolytic caps and a couple of ceramic caps. Ooh, what have we got in the front? Oh, on the front we've got a speaker, a selector switch and a power switch. I actually have to say, I like the layout of this. That's what it's like underneath. And a circuit board there for the LED digit display. Um, as well as a circuit board there for the two ICs. I was actually going to say they're exactly the same, but they're not. The tracks are actually different sizes. 
some kind of wire and diagram on the front. I want to have a play with this, but I don't think I've got any decent spare AA batteries. I'll see if I can get a pack tomorrow. But, uh, I actually prefer electronic kits like this where everything is actually on this and all you've got to do is connect the wires up. Don't know why, I just find that a lot easier. I've got a more complicated kit where you do have to put all your resistors in and whatnot. And it uses um, one of those, um, is it a breadboard they call it? Yeah, breadboard. Right. They make this. I think it's say they make this look so much bigger um, on the box, but that's because I hadn't opened it up. No, no, no. Let's just quickly, we'll open this up. I'll see if I can actually spell out Lego, which is what I want to spell. See if I've got enough clips. So, the plastic feet. They don't fit on there very securely, to be honest. I'll put those on later. Right. Oh, I see. The wire just is just held on with these. They just push into the card, and the wire just pushes in. And you turn the peg however you want. Right. Should we have some fun? Let's see if we can... Uh, need a bigger desk. Um, what I need is to actually clean the crap off this desk, then I can turn the camera that way. Or I need a bigger flat so I can actually set up a proper desk to work on. For when things like this come along, you know. Right. Lay out the word or the letter L, don't I? Just so you can see what I'm doing. I just realised I'd better move the camera. Ah, I threw it at a right angle as well. I've heard about this wire before on various um, YouTube videos, electronic YouTube videos. I've never done anything like this before, so I've got to try and join all four letters up. So I've got to remember how to do that. And the wires pop off. I'm going to have to use it sparingly because uh, that one's broken. That's why I couldn't get a wire in it. Right, so the next one is actually an E, isn't it? Right, so I'm going to leave a space. I'm going to put the peg there. I've got a funny feeling I'm going to have to double it up on the E, aren't I? I just hope two metres is actually going to be enough. So that's got to go on there. And then double that back. Something like this. Can I do that, maybe? Is that going to work? Something like that. I think G might be an awkward one. Get some of these pegs pre-put in, I think. I might have to do the E a different way, I don't know yet. Right, another peg in there. I think I might just have enough pegs, to be honest. Right. Thread the wire through there. Thread the wire through there. 
and then I've got a double look back. Wire through there. Up to the next one. It can get very, very fiddly, it seems. So. L-E I've got to do a G now um. <laughs> How am I going to do a G? O's not a problem because I can do like a a digital O I suppose I'll have to do a digital type G won't I? Much? Oh yeah, should have enough there, right. So, I need a peg. Whoops. And peg. So I go across to this peg. Cross the next peg when I get it all lined up. Around there, double back, go through that one. I think I've figured out how to do a G. Go down to this one. Go through this peg. I want another one. That one in there, that's where we're going to have to double back again. And yeah, I should actually have enough to do what I want to do. Yay! And by now, you're all probably bored to death of this. I do apologise. <laughs> goes through there. Right, so to do the zero, should be as easy as doing one there. One. Oh crap, I need to do a space, don't I? Duh. <laughs> One. One of Nemo's hairs getting in the way. Two. Three. So, what I can do into this one, around the corner, go down to the next one, around the corner, put another one in here, that turn right, I want it, go up, another one there, and I want one more clip after this one, we're nearly done. And that just goes straight through that clip. And I've got a spare clip there as well, so I can spell four letter words quite easily. Right. And that's got to go into there and turn, he says. And the same with this one, and I seem to have some wire left over. What can I do with that? Alrighty, that's what I've come up with. Oh, the L broke. I like to see Lego, can you? <laughs> Have a high pitched bloody wine to go with it. Oh, for fudge. Okay, so it's got a wine that sort of 
stops and starts. Let's just put that through there like that. There we go. I don't think that's bad for my first attempt, really, is it? But I think I could probably do it better. Don't like how the L and the E joins together. I think that one's a bit too fast. Anyway, I'm going to leave that up there for now. One broken peg out of the lot wasn't bad. I've got one spare. There's one foot. I'm not sure where the other one's gone. I think that's what just fell on the floor. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. And uh, if you did, please hit the like button. And uh, I will uh, talk to you all in the next video. Bye.